We are now in ah, Jaffa, yes, the old city of Jaffa, just a moment there, Hezi. That is St. Peter Church. We just went out of it, but we are going to see another monastery. And this time it's going to be Greek Orthodox. But look how beautiful is the sea. Hezi is a friend of mine. Hi. <laughs> hey, it looks like Calimero. I don't know if you remember Calimero now. Calimero. Calimero. <laughs> Then uh, it's a beautiful land. Um, yeah, beautiful monastery. Then uh, this is the narrow alleys of Jaffa, and soon you will see the monastery. Then in Jaffa, I think if you watch my videos. You know that Jaffa is in the center of Israel and it's the bridge between Africa, Asia and Europe and the closest place to Jerusalem. Then in that case, uh, every salesman, every pilgrim, when he, he reached Israel, usually it was through, uh, at Jaffa and the first thing that he wanted to do is to bless God that he actually survived it. And we are going to see one of those places. Actually, it has been the main Sorry? It has been the main point. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, of course. Since the biblical time, no? Since the biblical time, remember Jonah, remember the, the uh, um, wood for... Yeah, 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 true. Now here you can see the Casanova, which is the Catholic option, but we are going to see the Greek Orthodox one. On the way you can see here the Vatican Embassy in Jaffa. Beautiful Alice, isn't it? It's a rainy day, but it's a beautiful day. Maybe you should line. Okay, look at the beautiful view of Tel Aviv from here. A little bit slippery, but still beautiful. That used to be the Jewish quarter, but it's been destroyed by the Israelis, by the states. No? Mm -hmm. No, no, wait. Wait. And now closer and closer to the sea, you can see a mosque here. So that's like churches for the Christians who came to visit the Holy Land. Uh, the Muslims came too. Then the first thing that I wanted to do is to pray. Praise God. There were synagogues here as well, then Jews, Christians and Muslims kept a lot of property in the, the old Jaffa. Look how beautiful is this sea. And we are reaching the Armenian monastery now. It used to be the hospital of um, Napoleon here. And there's a famous uh, painting in uh, the Louvre uh, about um, um, Napoleon visiting the sick people here. This is the Armenian monastery. Yeah, I will do that. 
Rom told me to take a video of it from here to there and you will see the mosque and the Armenian monastery. The Armenians suffered a lot in 1915. Um, 1.5 million of them been killed by the Ottomans of today, the Turkish of today. And you can see the flag, uh, you can see the um, flower, don't forget me flower, and above it, 1915, April 24th. Then, we are entering now to the Armenian monastery. Armenian convent of St. Nicholas. They are living here according to donation, then if you are here, then don't forget to put some shekels, dollars, euro in it. Look at the view from here. Look at the Hachkal. We talked about it in my previous videos of the Armenian. But look at the Armenian flag, ah, cross, which is like, looks like a flower. We are entering now to the church. It's not the most beautiful church, but we cannot take pictures. Then, see you later on. Let's enter to the room that Napoleon actually made. We talked about um, Napoleon that's been here. And he turned that place into a, a hospital because uh, sadly when he occupied the city from the uh, Muslims at 1799, he killed 4,000 uh, Ottomans, but he didn't actually um, bury them. You know what's happened at that time then. In that case, he turned that place into a hospital and... Um, and um, he continued to fight uh, to occupy Israel, the Holy Land, because he wanted to control the world. And he was defeated at Akko, which is, let's say, one and a half hour driving north of Tel Aviv. And when he came back to here, he, um, he told the, the doctor, please kill all the patients that cannot escape with us to Alexandria and uh, the doctor says sorry I cannot do that I vote to heal people not to kill people and the uh, story tells us that the Ottomans and uh, they left them here uh, the Ottomans came to here took care of everyone that they could and uh, later on uh, they brought the survivor to to the French in uh, uh, the French people in um, Alexandria, Egypt of today.
We are back at the room. I want you to see the picture that you can see at the Louvre, and that is Napoleon touching one of the sick people to show their rest that it's not the end of the world. Napoleon. Napoleon. Let's say goodbye to the Armenian monastery at Jaffa. Beautiful place. Not easy to visit it, but uh, through my video, you did it. Then please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you do have some questions, don't hesitate. I will be happy to answer it. Bye-bye.